For the day's main sports headlines, here's Ayotun de Balogun. Thanks, Marachi. Nigeria men's basketball team, the D-Tigers, are still number one in Africa, despite failing to defend the 2017 FIBA AfroBasket title in Tunisia. In the current ranking released by the world governing body, D-Tigers are closely followed by Senegal and reigning champions Tunisia. Egypt, Cote d'Ivoire, Morocco, Cameroon, Mali and the Central African Republic make up the top ten best basketball playing countries on the continent. Heartland have gained promotion to the Nigeria Professional Football League after beating host First Bank of Lagos 1-0. Undukwe Okoro struck from 25 yards to ensure Heartland's return to the top flight after one season. Algeria have parted ways with their Spanish coach Lucas Alcaraz ahead of their final World Cup qualifying match against Nigeria in November. Alcaraz, who took charge of the team in April, following the resignation of Georgia's Likens in February, was the fourth permanent coach to take charge in 13 months. Reports say the Spanish coach, who signed the contract until 2019, has returned to Spain after bidding farewell to his players. Panama President Juan Carlos Varela has declared a national holiday in celebration of the Central American country's first ever qualification for the FIFA World Cup. Panama came from behind to beat Costa Rica 2-1 on Tuesday and book a ticket to Russia 2018. The victory left them third in the CONCACAF qualification series behind Mexico and Costa Rica, but sensationally knocked the United States out of contention. Rafa Nadal has extended his winning streak to 13 matches with a straight set win over Jared Donaldson at the Shanghai Masters. The top seed seeking his seventh tour level crown of the year won 6 2 6 1 in 54 minutes to advance to the third round. Next up for Nadal is Italian Fabio Fognini. Roger Federer edged past Argentine star Diego Schwartzman in his opening match at the Shanghai Masters. Federer was forced to dig deep in a tight first set, recovering from love two down in the tiebreak before snatching an early break in the second to win the game 7-6-6-4 and set up a tie with Alexander Dokovalov in the next round. And that's on the sports news. The news at 10 continues shortly. Early results from Liberia's presidential polls could be coming out as early as tomorrow, according to the Electoral Commission's Director of Communications, Henry Boyd. Boyd said elections went smoothly despite few problems and everyone on the queue was able to vote despite a 6 p.m. deadline. He said delaying the emerging of results was due to the counting process. Among the main contenders in Tuesday's poll are ex-football star George Weir and Vice President Joseph Bakai. For anyone to win in the poll, they would have to gain 50% plus one vote, otherwise it goes into a runoff. Scores of people are still missing in wildfires raging through wine region, California. 17 people have been confirmed dead, more than 2,000 buildings destroyed by fires which broke out on Sunday. 11 deaths have been confirmed in Sonoma County. One of the worst affected towns is Santa Rosa, north of San Francisco, where entire districts have been destroyed. The county sheriff says as many as 155 people are still unaccounted for, although that could be due to the chaotic pace of evacuations. It was a super cute little house. She actually had a dance studio in the garage that she taught ballet. And um, so that's gone. And all, we used to do canning every summer and stuff, and that's all gone. And, um, and their, whole, their whole life, you know, they're their whole life is gone. <laughs> but homeowner Regina Jackson... And the main news again. The federal government today revealed plans to implement the no work, no pay rule for public servants. It will also carry out major review in the health sector, one of which may ban doctors working in public hospitals from private practice. Also today, participants at the 23rd Nigeria Economic Summit holding in Abuja made case for the repositioning of small and medium scale enterprise for economic growth. And more than 150 people were declared missing today following wildfires that ravaged Northern California's wine region with at least 17 confirmed dead.
Fast News at 10 tonight. Thanks for watching. I am Amarachi Bani. Good night.